continue our quest to eat healthy, today I'm going to be making a lentil and coconut curry stew that'll not only warm your soul during these cold winter months, but it's so tasty that it'll be hard for you to consider it a healthy dish. I'm using one of the ingredients of 2016, pulses. I'll talk more about what pulses are later, but before we start, be sure to follow me on Instagram at Honeysuckle Catering and on Snapchat at HoneysuckleBee to see more behind the scenes snaps. So first, we're gonna start preparing the ingredients. I'm using two cloves of garlic and one knob of fresh ginger about two inches long. I'll peel and clean them, then in my mortar and pestle, I'll just smash them together until I get a paste, then set it aside. If you don't have a mortar and pestle, you can just mince them finely. Now I'm going to prepare my kabocha squash. If you've never heard of a kabocha squash, it's like a cross between a sweet potato and a pumpkin. It has a creamy texture and tastes kind of like chestnuts. Nowadays you can find it at any supermarket. I'll de-seed, peel and cut it into one inch chunks and set aside about two cups worth. If you can't find a kabocha squash, butternut squash is a great substitute. Next, I'll chop one small onion, and then I'm ready to throw everything into the pot. In a heavy bottom pot, like this Dutch oven, I'll heat up one tablespoon of coconut oil on medium-high heat. I'll let the oil melt, then I'll add in my onions. I'll cook them for a few minutes until they're fragrant, and then I'll add in my ginger garlic paste, and I'll cook it together for a few more minutes. Next, I'm adding in one and a half tablespoons of curry powder, two teaspoons of brown sugar, half a teaspoon of cumin, and half a teaspoon of ground coriander. Then I'll continue cooking it until the spices open up and it smells divine. Now I'll add in my kabocha squash, one can or 13 and a half ounces of coconut milk, one and a half cups of chicken broth, and then I'll just simmer it for 10 minutes. When the kabocha squash is soft, I'll add in one cup of dry red lentils and one can of chickpeas, aka garbanzo beans. Did you know that dry legumes like red lentils, chickpeas, and black beans are called pulses and are the next big superfood trend? Pulses are nutritional powerhouses packed full of vitamins, minerals, protein, and fiber. In fact, they're so good for you that it's been proven to lower blood pressure, help with heart disease, diabetes, and even lower your cholesterol. They're so sustainable that the United Nations has declared 2016 the International Year of Pulses. They're also really affordable and you can usually find them in the bulk bins of any supermarket. I love that they're so versatile and they go with every cuisine. Like today where I'm making Asian. Okay, so once the lentils have finished cooking in the last 15 minutes, I'll add one teaspoon of kosher salt to taste, some black pepper, and a handful of another superfood, spinach. For 2016, my husband and I are going to incorporate more pulses into our diet. We're taking the pulses pledge. So I challenge you to incorporate pulses at least once a week into your diet and tell me how you feel. For me, I feel a lot more energy and lighter and I don't get that afternoon slump. Let's try to be healthy together this year. And for more healthy recipe ideas, I have homemade kimchi, zoodles, and soba stir fry. The stew is so good and so good for you. The creaminess of the squash and the texture of the garbanzo beans and the lentils really makes this unique. And I love that the coconut aroma really comes through. This dish is also great because it's vegan and vegetarian. That's so good for days when you just need a meat detox. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.